We took that variety as, as our emblematic variety, the Carmener. Hmm? But the Carmener <coughs> is a very difficult variety to grow. It's very mm -hmm. difficult because it has a very expressive green side. That green side is, the, is a pyracinic side. Huh? Uh, when you have that, uh, this variety uh, planted in a wrong place, you will always need to you always need to overripe the variety to lose that green side before to harvest because in another way you cannot drink that wine <laughs> but when you have that variety in a in a in a good spot like this one where when you have as i told you in in, in the first part of the of the visit that we got a lot of clay that's very good for this variety but with drainage in that way, we can lose the herbal character of the variety very, very early in the season, before then the, 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 the grapes are ready to pick them up. Hmm? So we decide our, uh, our harvest of Carmener, uh, not because we need to lose the herbal notes, because we lose it very, very early in the season. We, we choose the, the perfect day, because we think that we got the balance in between the nice crunchy aromas of the variety and and the natural acidity and the ripeness of the Chinese. In that way you can like, you can be sure that you are tasting a very special Carmenere from Chile. It's not a typical Carmenere from Chile because in the, in the first time we didn't know about the pure acidic side, about the green side of the variety. But with the time we start to under, understand that. So here we got a, as I told you, a, um, a kind of unique carmener where you can find a lot of flower inside, not over mature. We, we don't have here uh, the, the full ripeness that used to, used to find in the carmener or the, uh, how do you say that, the, the yummy smells. Hmm? We have here more fresh fruit red fresh fruit and we got a lot of flour inside mm -hmm. and in the mouth we can f still feel the typical kind of channings that we can find the carmener mm -hmm. the channings of the carmener used to be a lot of, a lot of a very very rounded and very sweet and here we got it too but we still have a, a structure of the channings there mm -hmm. it's not a it's not a it's not a yummy wine it's a kind of a structured wine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in that way in that way because we lose the herbal notes very early, we don't need to correct the alcohol final degree. No. Yeah? <coughs> because when you overripe the grapes, maybe you can reach 16 alcohol degree or maybe more, and you need to correct that in the winery. Hmm? So you correct it and you got to put a lot of tartaric acid. Huh? But in this, case, in this case, we don't need to do it because the balance, the, the natural balance, the, the final balance of the, of the wine we can reach we can reach it in in the in the vineyard. Hmm? Is it difficult to find this kind of soil type uh, here in Chile? The, the, the I don't know. I don't know another one. Actually, I don't know yeah. another one where you can find that that combination in between clay and rocks, in between clay and gravels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Maybe you can find it when you have slopes, but you will not have that uh, high. Uh, a percentage of clay and a lot of uh, organic matter that we have here. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> the degree in this wine is 13.5 for sure. The pH has to be close to 3.7. Hmm? The total acidity has to be in, in sulfuric, has to be in 3.5, something like that. Do you think that the Carmenere in itself, is it a good grape to have on its own, or do you think it is good to blend with other grapes? Uh, I really like to blend it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, this one is not a 100% Cabernet. <laughs> I used to blend it with some Cabernet Franc and a touch of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and a, a little touch of Petit Verdot. And <laughs> well, but I got almost 90%, 88% of Cabernet car here. Mm -hmm. For the low, we can we can reach until 80, 85. From 85, we can say that it's straight wine. Okay. Uh -huh.
but I use the Carmener for blending with Cabernet Franc, straight Cabernet Franc and, and Cabernet Sauvignon, for sure. It's a good combination because the Carmener adds a lot of uh, softness in the, in the tannins huh? and roundness.